And so this is just showing, you know, where the basal ganglia is located. Also, there's a really high density in the cerebellum, so effects on motor control. Um, but it is virtually absent in the brain stem. And this is why cannabis or THC is non-toxic, because it, you can never get a dose that is going to shut down heart rate or respiration. So if you look at the LD50 of some other compounds that do have the capacity to kill people, um, 192 milligrams, and you know, look at heroin, 22 milligrams per kilogram. And this is the estimated isolated amount of THC, are you ready, that you would need to get to potentially have a lethal dose. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so when we say it's non-toxic, this is one reason we say it's non-toxic because it can't kill you. And, you know, there's been some reports of death recently. Um, but, you know, again, it's, it's media hype because uh, I think a lot of what is going on politically and, and fallout. And I just kind of put this in a visual. This was for the, um, when I was uh, being an expert witness in a court in San Diego for a parent whose son got taken away from him, even though the son had absolutely no access to the cannabis. It was behind a locked door in a locked refrigerator. And so this was uh, just data that I wanted to show the jury, you know, the, the relative harm, uh, you know, of other things that this child might encounter in the home, you know, and it, w it would take this much, again, you know, we got the number here of, of this, is, this is cannabis now, this is not THC. So, um, you know, and I even, I had to do a bar here because this graph would have <laughs> been really tall. So just a visual representation and explaining to them why a child is, a child is not going to die. Um.